at this point, you overhear the um, the gruff man who told you uh, to leave. Um, he's currently talking to the machine man, the freak, and he is accusing them that these robots were looking for him. And for the safety of everyone, it's best that you that he leaves. His cage was completely open. He could have come and go as he wants. And James T. kind of just, the machine man gives a bit of a, a, a nod, just a deranged look as he walks upon his metal arms. And as he kind of looks around, his eyes fall on you, Patrick, and you, Tom. And he gives a wiry little smile. And he crawls over to you and with amazing speed for something of that size. And he says, mm, 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 good, g- g- good fight. I saw, saw what you did. Mm, y- yes, you mm, mm, could do it. Mm, yeah, you could. Yes, yes. Strong enough, I think. Would you want to stop evil? Hmm? Would you you like to find a treasure trove of epic proportion? Uh, Tom's going to look at Patrick. (laughs) Um, he, he... You would probably know Patrick by now, Tom, that he would probably be all over that sort of business Mm -hmm. in a drop of the hat, but he looks a bit more stern than you would expect him to be. Um, And he's going to to ask the the half... uh, Machine man. Machine man. um, Why were they after you? (laughs) Hmm... Uh, <clears throat> give me a moment. Mm-hmm. So, after a moment, looking at you, he gives another strange, wiry grin. And he says, Hmm, hmm, why? Why, why, why? Well, I can tell you, but we must be careful. <laughs> He, he is a secret. He, he is a secret with spies everywhere. A secret from hell? <laughs> we were partners. Hmm? I gave him my thoughts and he, he gave me this. And he raises one of his mechanical arms. Hmm? I will make you into the image of the gods. <laughs> yep, that's what he said. I will make you like a god. And he did that. He he did, except I don't feel too g- godly right now. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right then. If you two worked together, um, mm-hmm. is there a reason why he would want you back? Mm-hmm. 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 Don't don't know where to s- s- start. Mm. Too strange. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have. to to see something, hmm? a, 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 a secret sub, sub, a cave, a cave deep in the ground in the middle of nothing, hmm? filled with machines, it is, machines and bots and lights like you've never seen in this world, that's where he be, I found the cave, hmm? I said I'd be in heaven. A fortune of high tech for me to take. <laughs> and this voice speaks 
from the darkness of the cave, and he says, Do you not fear me? And, oh, you love this. You love this. I said, Why should I fear you? <laughs> Why should I fear? <laughs> Why? <clears throat> I don't know. I, I wasn't afraid of no voice in the dark, huh? <laughs> this be heaven, I said. He talked like that. He, he liked that I wasn't scared. And we talked, talk, 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 talk for days. Finally, he, he had a bot, and he gestures over to one of the steaming piles of slag. And he took me to this big helmet so we could talk even better. And we did. The voice be happy, and he makes me his friend, and he makes me better, like a god. <laughs> I thought I'd be in heaven, a god in heaven, <laughs> only it was <laughs> hell. <sighs> the helmet sees into my mind. Really, like a, a, a sigh, Mutie. Mm. Joe goes right in and sees what it wants. He liked what he seen, and we be partners. Everything was great. We mm, made things, all kinds of things. Bots, monsters, mostly. I think him up, and he builds them. <laughs> oh, 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 and, and, uh, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. He, we go out sometimes, hmm? We raise all sorts of kinds of hells, hmm? 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 So, everything was fine, hmm? Then I come home, I do, hmm, to the cave. And there's this other sitting in my throne. And he says, hmm, this one is better. <laughs> He says they can even talk without the helmet. Sure, I said. What is this guy? Some kind of freak? Some mutie freak who can talk to machines? Bull! I scream. This is my place. I'm the one for the throne. I have the ideas. And he says I am pathetic like all humans that my ideas are nothing compared to this this new one you know what drove me crazy this guy just sits in the throne smiling at me like he's a god or something like he knows something i don't just look at me smiling like i was yesterday's garbage so i freaked out and I tried to blast his ass to hell. He didn't appreciate that. And uh, this is what happened. Uh, tore me to pieces and threw me away. The whole time I could hear that guy laughing at me. Laughing, laughing. And they would try to finish the job, I guess. But I will have the biggest laugh because one day <laughs> he will be worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it. I just know it. <laughs> and then his agitated, stuttering, sputtering state pauses for a moment. And he becomes quiet. And his face takes on a sinister look. His eyes grow dark. And he says in a whisper, without stutter, I can take you. I know the way. You're strong. Strong enough to even kill him. You'll see. I can show you a secret way. A way he does not know. Steal from him. Kill him. And take it all. I don't care. I want nothing of value. Only revenge. He must pay for this. You can usurp the power of the Dark God. And he grows silent. Once again, similarly to when he was doing his show, he slumps down on his mechanical arms and hunches over. Tom's got to look at Patrick again. 
with wide eyes. Well, whatever history these two may have had, there is a problem at the moment. There are robots killing very little. reason other than humanity must die. <laughs> yes, yes, he hates humans. H hates them. Mm. I don't like it when our kind do that to others. I'll have a talk with this gentleman. <laughs> Yes, you could. Oh wait, what tall? Wait, wait, which gentleman? Uh, the the one the he's other man. referring to? Yes. Yeah, I think you he? were right, Inferno, because I smiled okay. when you said that. Like, okay, oh, okay, <laughs> and be like, <laughs> you can talk, but you will want to kill him if you care about people. We'll see if he's reasonable. <laughs> he just laughs. He just laughs and laughs and laughs. Mm -hmm. He's a jolly fellow. Uh, yeah. Sure. Can I say for the record, goddamn Inferno. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That was really good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, if, if you guys would like to do anything, I like. Oh, sorry. We can still go with this conversation, of course. Of course. Oh, I, I, us two have been going on for a while. Is anybody uh, else doing yeah. anything? Yeah, we could. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess do I don't yeah. need to type this out. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, later. Uh, Nora just kind of like walked over to um to Al, and she not making like not looking down at him anything, kind of looking off, sort of at. Anything else around them to say we should we should probably move. Al doesn't respond at all. She's quiet. <laughs> and then she, uh, she after a moment sh not shakily but like very hesitantly put a hand on his shoulder and say we should move. Uh he jerks. When the hand touches the shoulder, uh, Inferno. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm sure I've asked before, and I keep forgetting. Um, uh -huh. When, like, when you're that close, can you see through the face mask at all? Oh yeah, the same. The 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 mask itself is um, transparent. Okay. Um, he, Unless you choose to have one that isn't one, but no. that's kind of the default. He he looks up at Nora a little confused, and he looks very shaken, and his cheeks are very wet, but he still doesn't say anything. She's not looking at him, but she. <laughs> um, she, she. I guess after a moment, if he's still looking, kind of glanced down at him and kind of jerked back herself a little bit. <laughs> she is socially awkward. Um, and then uh, just say, "Let's let's move." He looks back down. <laughs> He doesn't really seem to be acknowledging too much. And then uh, he says in a very, very shaky voice, I... I couldn't... I couldn't stop her. You can't blame yourself for that. No response. Bad things happen to good people, Al. You can't blame yourself for it. 
Otherwise, you'll go insane. Al looks at Nora at that. And it's almost as if something kind of clicks, but not really. And then he nods and silently gets up and kind of stands there. Not like, um, not sure where to go or what to do. I think she would guide him over towards uh, our our two compadres who are dealing okay. with the yeah. very happy gentleman. <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. And at this point, uh, since James T. and also the whole conversation with the uh, Smiling Jack's freak show asking him to leave and they themselves trying to deal with the bodies, uh, I'm going to say it's fair to say that you guys came in on half of that conversation, so you have a good chunk of what uh, this fellow was talking about, the machine man. At this point, then, Nora would be glancing like, are we actually listening to this guy? Like, glancing at her teammates like, really? We're actually listening to him? <laughs> yeah, and Tom's glancing at everybody else. <laughs> Al will, I guess, after he stops, I will quietly, very quietly ask, what happens if we don't? <laughs> he will not stop. He'll k- 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 keep killing, keep building, keep thinking and hurting. Hmm? You, you... Don't want, and he gestures over to this, this to happen, do you? Al actually visibly flinches when he says that, but he doesn't say anything. This carnage has happened hundreds of times already and will happen thousands of times after if he, he, he... He is not stopped. You could do it. You took care of his bots. I know secrets. We could do it. Al? Al is... You can see Al's face looks incredibly pained, and his gaze is kind of distant. Tom will reach up and put a hand on his shoulder. He flinches again. (laughs) But... Uh... Al just kind of looks at Tom, not really knowing what to say. Uh, 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 Nora? <laughs> Tom uh, nervously looks over to Mila. <laughs> Nora flinches when he says her name and looks at him and then kind of glances to the floor uh, pretty quickly um, and then uh, just says, we, we have a mission we're working on right now. I don't think we should deviate from that. Al is actually going to walk away for a moment um, back to where the uh, pieces of the woman who ran in front of him and got shot are. Mm -hmm. No, not again. And he's going to scoop up one of the pieces and walk back. It's like two fingers. and, and, And in a very, very scary, I guess, kind of voice say, where is he? East. Uh, I will t- take you. Al will look at everyone else and, and, and he, he looks different. He looks angrier. He says, I'm not going to dictate our actions. But he needs to be stopped. And Al will hold up the remains. 
Badgers are going to be looking away from them. Um, and I was going to ask him to put those down. <laughs> yeah. Nora actually walks away at that. Yeah, I... Let's go. Let's go and deal with this asshole. But can can you put that back? Al please? actually kind of realizes what he did and then kind of opens his mouth a few times and then walks away unsteadily and then like gets back down on his knees and starts digging a hole in the dirt. <sighs> Which way are we going, by the way? It. East. It is where he said. He said. No, yeah. no, no, no. Where are we currently before he said that? Which way? Which direction were we going? You're going southeast, but more east than south. Yeah. A lot more east than south is what I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going so to the same should... spot that we were going to before. So maybe. Maybe. You'll have so, to uh, talk with uh, this machine man. Yeah. And you don't know exactly his directions. If it is the same spot, you'll be able to figure it out relatively quickly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, first, he'll uh, ask if he knows uh, within miles um, what the distance would be. <laughs> Machine Man gives a smile and says, if, if I tell you the exact c c coordinates, if I gave you directions... You would have n no need of me. I must be there. I have to sh show you secret cave. I have to be there for revenge. I will lead you. It sounds fine to me, Patrick, but... You, you show him the behemoth. I'm gonna help Al, and Tom's gonna walk off. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Nora, when you walk away, um, Bear uh, meets you halfway, and he mm. asks in a in a small questioning voice, Nora. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. You are fine. You look distressed. Ugh. I, it's fine, Bear. And when you say that, he gives a little bit of a smile, almost recognition, and goes, he says, Yes, I will leave you, as I always did when you were this worried, but you know I'll always be around. Um, with that, I think she'd look up and give Bear a genuine smile and then go back to sulking. <laughs> sure, no problem. He uh, returns the genuine smile, but keeps a respectable distance away from her. Sorry, um, before we go back to the Machine Man and uh, Patrick, uh, maybe we'll have uh, Tom and Al, since Tom went after Al a little bit there, we'll uh, have you guys interact, if you choose to. If not, I, I can continue on. Tom's not going to initiate anything. He's just oh, going to... Okay. Uh, um, Al, oh. he, he'll dig the hole... And then he'll put what remains he can in the hole. And noticing Tom's there, he'll, as he's kind of covering it up, he'll very quietly say, he'll tap his chest plate, the very, very damaged chest plate, and say, that shot should have, would have I know. me. I know, buddy. And then he just covers up the hole. Yeah. Come on, let's get let's let's get back to the behemoth. Al doesn't resist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so Patrick, you are uh, leading the machine man to uh, to the behemoth as well, or would you like to talk with him a little bit more, or talk with him while journeying? What's he's kind of just. Sticking by. I, I am not moving towards the behemoth. Oh, okay, great. Um, what would be your revenge? 
destroy him, steal from him, stop him. He, and he gestures to the wires hanging around where his spine used to be. He says, he did this, I want to do worse. Y your friends want to s stop him. You want to <clears throat> stop him. Yet I can see there is something uh, that perplexes you. Speak. As much as I've seen in this world, anger, frustration, mistrust, death there's always the first answer <laughs> I can promise one thing for you then we will be entering a secret entrance, one he, he does not know. We will fall into his lap and we will delve into the heart of his complex. There you can speak with him and you will find a <coughs> twisted brain and you will come to the same conclusion. But what if I don't? Then you will probably die. But you will come to the same conclusion. If there was a way to end this without death, I will take it. I will battle only when it's necessary. And that includes if I disagree with you and you try to kill him. I will he defend. Looks, sure, he gestures to his broken body and says, I am not in a condition to kill anyone. That is why I need your help. You think you are dealing with a rational, caring human. You are not. You are dealing with a dark god. A god of machines. He, he, he does not think the way you do. Let me lead you to him and you will see if I do not agree with you know this I will quickly become your enemy <laughs> you will have far bigger problems if you do not agree with me but I accept your conditions <laughs> as they are <laughs> As they are. <laughs> then Patrick will seem to have raised his gloomy state and say, if you have your own means of travel, you may travel. <laughs> I have two hands. <laughs> that is how I travel. <laughs> Scurry like crap. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, then Patrick will nod and um, say, when we get into our vehicle, lead the way. Um, and before he leaves, he's going to go to, if the stand is still open, the... Uh, the food stand? The, yeah. No, no, everything no. is shutting down because of uh, the calamity. It was only a few robots. Um, <laughs> too soon. Uh, is there, is there anyone there? Or... Um... Yeah, there are a few uh, individuals. If you want to talk to a staff member, in fact, Smiling Jack himself is uh, organizing the kind of, um, for lack of a better word, cleanup of the situation. Then uh, Patrick will go back to the behemoth. Okay. Uh, the machine man scurries along beside you as you do so. As you reach the behemoth, he presses his more robotic hand up to the metal, and he goes, <laughs> Irony. As he continues to scurry next to you. N Nora is um, doing her thing outside mm -hmm. the behemoth where she, she punches the air to kind of let off steam. Okay. Um, upon seeing <laughs> Patrick and... Um, the, the, I don't, the little machine, machine guy. Machine man, no one's asked him his name. Yeah, so. yeah. To machine see man. them approach, she's just gonna look to Patrick and shake her head, frowning, like, no. He can't, he can't come on board. I never <laughs> said he's coming on board. <laughs> okay, well, what do you intend to do with him? He says that he has his own means of transportation. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. Two hands. <laughs> I don't think I can give up, though. <laughs> What's the matter, pretty, pretty? And he says as he wiggles his bottom torso of the wires towards you, am I not a thing of beauty? <laughs> you think I am some sort of monster? I am nothing compared to him. Nora just stares at him, but like more, more like resisting the urge to punch. So okay. she starts punching the air again. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to guide you. If this is what you take, I need to be inside to help. He no. says to Patrick. No. <laughs> <laughs> then we go by foot. Slower, but quieter. Quiet is good. Obviously, <laughs> Nora doesn't like the idea of uh, detouring to this guy with this guy, mainly because he seems so shifty. But she will not say that. I, as a player, will say that. But she <laughs> yeah. will. She will turn her back and walk into the behemoth, not saying another word. Um, may I interject with some metagame? Oh yeah, let's lay it up. Like, yeah, yeah, that's okay. awesome. So yeah, engage, engage. Yeah. We have another option to us, which will also please Nora. Um, I'm not too sure if it'll please Piff or um, Patrick. We don't have to have him on board the behemoth. We can, however, bring the ATV, have him in the ATV as a pa in the passenger seat, and have Patrick drive the ATV while Al pilots the behemoth. That is another option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we can figure out just how far away this is, and if it's less than a you know day's journey on an ATV or hover cycle, so we can just take those. He will not tell us the coordinates. That's but we he, but he can tell us how far away it is. True. Uh, with your inquiries, he says, <laughs> "Stop off at town. That will help." And then to him, <laughs> two days. 
three at most. Why stop off at town? It's very important. You will see. Very important for successively stopping him. Okay. Al, seeming to get a little bit more hold of himself, asks if, uh, um, these caves, this secret passage you want to take us through. <laughs> How big are he they? He starts to get agitated hearing this. <laughs> big and deep. <laughs> he doesn't know. Could I... But it delves... Mm -hmm. I, I was going to say, if I was this big and Al holds his arms out wide and high, could I get through them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He shakes and gives a little, that weird, uh, tittery giggle, and he nods. Al takes a breath, a few breaths, and then says, I'm better, but if what this guy says is true, if he made the rhinos that hit that caravan, if he made the robots that attacked this <laughs> it needs to stop. Rhinos, you s say? Giant rhinos. <laughs> One of his designs. <laughs> yes. Al shrugs and says, as much as we can trust him, and he looks at the machine man and says, no offense, but we just met. <laughs> I'm taken. <laughs> I think that. No, I know that those people deserve this to stop. Yeah, it's not going to be an easy fight, though. Al's like, and Al looks at him and nods and says, "Why do you think I asked if I could get through this big?" Oh, that, right. I don't have that. <laughs> and yeah, that, that, that's all I was going to say. <laughs> okay. And then Al would be like, Patrick, you're rather quiet. Your thoughts? Are we straying from... What we talked about? No, I wasn't there when you talked about that, so I wouldn't know any of it. Oh. Well, um, this gentleman seems to have an agenda against the other one who seems to be making this. Making these machines. And, um,. If he's unreasonable, as he says he is, then I see no means on ripping a man from his morals. I'm not sure I understand. You're he's. Saying... Oh, go ahead. He is looking to take revenge on the person who's doing this, fairly similar to what you are looking to do. Al shakes his head. I think you misunderstand me. I'm not out to kill something just to kill something. I'm out to keep this from happening again. If that means stopping him, that's what it means. If it means killing him, that's what it means. If it means finding a non-violent solution, Patrick, honestly, I don't care. I just don't want others to die. I have the same view as you. But... Then I'll tell you this, because I can't trust my own thoughts right now. I will follow whatever you choose. I trust you enough for that. Patrick will have a, a glossy look in his eyes and um, nod. Al looks like he is 
trying to control a fury. Kind of like, you know, like, almost like he wants almost what the machine guy wants, but he's trying his best to control it. Right. And, um, the, the ATV thing is a fantastic solution. I should probably do that. Because it looks like there's a lot of other people who seem to be, um, pretty not okay with having him on board, and to be honest, neither would I as, as a player, uh, but as a character, he's trusting enough to be with his company, so he definitely will be okay with being with him in his ATV. Yeah. Especially for stopping out of town, hopefully it will have a station mm -hmm. to stop at. Mm -hmm. Um, right. I would say after a few seconds, like I guess when they're walking inside, Al would stop Patrick and say, Patrick, I'm serious. There's a fine line between justice and revenge. And after today, I'm not sure I trust myself to know the difference in this matter. I will... I will let you do the first whatever. I need your clear head, because mine's not. I appreciate it. And, um... Patrick will also re reassure him that we're going to the same place that we've marked out to go to just to have him know that at least that's he would he would say in his own way a good 90% certainty of that Al will nod yeah um and he will go into his ATV with with uh machine man okay <laughs> uh, right. and, and, and Al will say Patrick will stay right behind you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, with that, the machine man scurries uh, with you, Patrick, to your ATV. Uh, he climbs with his uh, metallic flesh-fused arms into the passenger side. As he sits and kind of wiggles back and forth, kind of rocking back and forth, his cords uh, scraping along the, the seat of the passenger seat. As he says, first we go to Vinton, <clears throat> start heading east of here. I will tell you where to turn. And... Uh... Patrick will nod, being mm. v visibly more relaxed than he's been for most of the conversations, and um, okay. will be heading towards that direction. Okie doke. So, um, <laughs> uh, this is how we can, um, I, we, well, we, we can start traveling, no problem, it's all good. Uh, the only thing is, is that I do not want to gloss over opportunities for you to roleplay, especially <laughs> you there, uh, Mila Nora, who looks visibly uneasy, uneasy oh, in the beginning. I was, I was just mm -hmm. pointing that out. <laughs> Doesn't <laughs> yeah. need to be enough. looked at. Just pointing right, it out. Enough. All right. Um, is there any? Because of course you can communicate to Patrick via the radio, right? Um, you can engage with any of the of the any any of the other NPCs if you wish. Um, if not, I can continue on the adventure, no problem. Uh, I just wanted to uh, give you guys ample opportunity to role play as well. Uh, I'm good. I just need to know, um, Squee, how much damage did your um, it had body armor take? Left. Thirteen points left. Okay. 
Done. Okay. Um, I would have a small, or try to have a small conversation with Nora. Okie dokie. Yeah. Uh, he still doesn't look, I was going to say, like his old self. <laughs> He'll never look like his old self. I mean, he, he doesn't look, look like, like he's completely back together emotionally. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's gonna. Where is Nor? Um, I don't know. I guess she'd just find a nice, quiet spot in the behemoth. Probably, I guess, her room. <laughs> uh, door it's open or close? A uh, close. All right. He would softly knock on the door. What do you know? There's no response. What is? What's up with that? It's kind of weird. I, <laughs> yeah, it's not expected at all. Yeah. Knock knock, Penny. Knock knock, Penny. <laughs> Penny. All right. Um, Al will, like always, just start talking. Um, Nora. I get it. You're not hot on this idea, but I also know you well enough to know that. If there is a chance to stop more people from dying, you would be for it. So, what is it that you're uneasy about, and what can we do to make you less uneasy? Um, you hear kind of like a soft thud on the door. Um, obviously you can't see it, but Nora just kind of <laughs> has her head resting on the door. <laughs> My poor baby. Um... And, uh, she'll just, you know, it'll be quiet for a moment, and then she'll just go. I'd tell you, but something tells me you wouldn't want to hear it. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Al pauses for a bit and then says, Mila, uh, Nora, sorry, Nora everything I've been through in the past few days I think I would want to hear it I don't think she knows how to respond Al will hesitate again and then he'll say I know that you don't trust much and trust me I don't trust him either but people are dying listen to me Al how much do you feel like yourself with that you hear a thud on the door <laughs> <laughs> while Al turns around and kind of leans up against it and uh, he says, to be honest, I wasn't sure. I've had these strange feelings in the back of my head. But today, what happened, how I felt what it did to me when I saw an innocent in front of me die. I have no doubt anymore that I am still me. All right. <laughs> I know you're trying to be serious and so sorry. I'm so sorry. And, and 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 Al will, after another brief moment, will say, Nora, if that's what you thought I didn't want to hear, trust me when I tell you. I... And then he kind of takes a deep breath. I am who I... I how do I say this? I know I'm still Al. But I'm smart enough to know how difficult this has to be for everyone else. Don't hesitate to test me or to question. There's no way we're all going to get past this if we don't. All 
All right. And with that, Al will go pilot the behemoth. Okie dokie. Anything else anyone would like to uh, do and or say? No. I'm good. Okay. I'm I'm going to be in the living room playing with Hannibal, making sure he's all fed and happy and stuff. Rough. I'm just twisting Rough. these knobs and pulling them levers. Yep. Uh, I'm just tr wondering if I want... Uh... Hmm. Uh, no, I'm just... Um... No, I don't think any NPC would initiate anything right now. That's all. Um... So, what we'll do is uh, we'll continue on with the journey itself. Um, the Machine Man, Patrick... Oh, yeah, while you're traveling, do you have any other questions for the Machine Man? Hmm. Maybe we'll get the question phase out of the way while he gives you directions. You know what I mean? But since you'll be traveling for a few hours, you'd have some time to talk. Uh, if you don't choose to talk, a lot of times he would just tap the glass of the passenger side window from time to time and just give <laughs> little hums and little giggles in between him giving you directions. Oh, he's so happy! Yeah. Best nice. friends forever. Best yeah. But yeah, no, I want to give you an opportunity to ask him questions. And in fact, uh, even two of the folks who aren't in the ATV, since you can communicate to Patrick via radio, if you have any questions, we can still make it, uh, you know, applicable that you can ask the machine man that too. But uh, if not, once again, I, I just want to leave you guys a lot of options. I will take your silence as no. <laughs> <laughs> I have no immediate uh, questions. Okay. Cool. No problem. So, um, sure enough, uh, James D. does direct you first 40 miles um, directly east, then northeast just for a small amount of time. And uh, as you do so, you do come across two small... Um, Two sites, we'll just say. The first is, or two things, I guess I should say, happen. Environmental things happen. The first is that when you're about 45 minutes into the journey, the weather undergoes a sudden and bizarre change. All of a sudden, like in a matter of seconds, the skies crack open, and although it was sunny, they darken within a matter of one minute. And a incredible intense hail and ice storm starts to rain down upon you lasting for 10 minutes and then it disappears again as soon as it arrives thankfully the hail itself is not large enough and the canopies of the trees of the Appalachian Mountains in which you travel are enough to protect your windshield the robots fine but the ATV's windshield does not get damaged from the hail it's just more perplexing how the weather pattern happened uh, during the hailstone itself, the machine man uh, just can't stop laughing, uh, talking about uh, hell raining down above them and how you will create hell from within for him. You know, mutterings like that. And I will continue. <laughs> Your silence speaks <laughs> volumes. Your silence? No, no, that just means you're listening. You don't feel like you need to indirectly engage, which is fine. So the second um, happenstance as you travel is that you come across a single grave marker. Uh, just uh, what you think at first is just a piece of wood sticking out from the ground is actually, on as you pass by it on closer inspection, just a single marker of someone or something that passed and was buried, and someone decided to mark their final remains. Mm. And so, uh, we're going to end this session with your, uh, not immediately, of course, but with your arrival at, of a town called Finton. At this point, um, Patrick... Uh, give me a land navigation check. 
Okay. That should make it. I'll go double check. Yeah. No, it does. I'm pretty sure it's at least 65 that you have, which is fine. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you're journeying, you're, la you're thinking, you've gone a little bit north. It might be a bit of a detour, but you're getting a hunch you might be heading in the same direction. You don't have absolute confirmation yet, but it wouldn't surprise you. Um, so, that's... Uh, something that's niggling at the top of your head. So when you go north, you start to follow a river called the Susquehanna River, which runs south into what used to be Maryland. At this point, when you reach the river, the machine man gets nervous but enthusiastic. And that river soon has a dirt road that stems from it. And he says, oh, we are close now. Follow the road to Finton. There it is safe, and we will get assistance. Uh, do you do so? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. following his instructions to a T. Okay, all right. So, I will give you guys just a general description of Finton itself. So, it is a pretty little town of farmers, hunters, and trappers. Um, there is a sign at the town gate that reads, Welcome to Finton. You can see approximately, oh, 60 or 70 homes that can see, be seen from the road that you're on, with a hint of a few others on the distance. Um, if, uh, as you travel through Finton or arrive to it, you would probably guess maybe around 700 people or so would probably call Finton, Finton home. And uh, large buildings, merchant shops, and a town square is located at its center. Um, unlike a few of the towns that you've gone through, this town is actually fairly picturesque. And the smell of wildflowers and sometimes the smell of baking actually hits your nose as you go out to explore Finton itself. There is a general store that does serve um, other travelers. Uh, in addition, there is uh, a few other shops, including a barber, a shoemaker, a furrier, a tailor, a carpenter, a bakery, and a herb shop, a blacksmith. There are two saloons, a dance hall, and a very small building that advertises a psychic healer. Very similar to Myrna's House of Healing over in New Laszlo. A much smaller, smaller arrangement. Probably only one individual, but the same process. In addition, if you are looking for lodgings, there is a boarding house. However, you do have your own behemoth. And there is a fine automotive uh, mechanic shop as well. Uh, as far as the general mood of the town itself, uh, the people are polite and courteous uh, to both human and DB alike, but neither of them are overly friendly, nor, of, nor are they uh, extremely talkative as well. Um, they do make a point of avoiding the machine man at every single point, though. So, and James, uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to just tell you what his name is, because <laughs> at some point, he is going to fucking introduce himself. Yeah. He only remembers his name as James T. He doesn't know the rest of it, Kirk. so he calls himself James T. So now I can keep saying, actually say his name, James T, instead of the machine man. I tried my best. I tried my best. Hey, hey, you can but, say Kirk, yeah. and that'll even explain the speech pattern. <laughs> no. <laughs> At least you considered it. That's I, all I ask. You know, that's the perfect. Like, I don't want to digress too much, but that's, that's the perfect. Fine. Like, uh, you know that meme, no face. Like, that's yeah. the voice that would be with it, just yeah. silent, no. and then that look. No. 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 Um. So. Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's go a little bit further further into this story. I got, I got another um, scene, I guess, in mind. Uh, 
Uh, uh, well, first things first, do you guys want to indulge in anything that Fintan has to offer? Uh, hmm. I can reincorporate anything too because when we get there, James T wants to introduce you to a fellow named Lord Fromaline. <laughs> he he is <clears throat> the protector here, and he can assist us. He is an old acquaintance. <laughs> But, uh, of course, you don't need to do that immediately this very second. Yeah, what's up? Um, I, I personally want to get the sets of body armor repaired. All right. How long has it been since... Uh, You've we, how long have we traveled? Yeah, question. For about four hours or so. So it's probably close to around three o'clock in the afternoon. Cool, Mila's back! Yay! <laughs> okay. Woo! Just Woo! hopping around the behemoth. All right. Um, so you're interested in getting your armor repaired. Yes. The best close, um, the, the closest um, place where the locals direct you to is the automotive mechanic shop, mm -hmm. which is worked by a pair of operators and the techno wizard pal, in fact. Mm. Um, it is located two miles down the road, so it's just a small way. And they can repair most ground uh, and hover vehicles. And they can affect simple repairs on robots and power armor and body armor as well. They also sell gasoline and recharge electric batteries and Eclipse. Ooh. Um, okay. Their prices are a little bit higher than average, though, because they are probably the only mechanic shop in the area at all. But yeah. uh, let me know what you want to get repaired, and I will give you a price for it. And then we'll um, determine if we can afford it. Right now, we have two hmm. sets of body armor, which I'm highlighting in the Rifts group loot. Um, oh, one has 60 MDC taken, and the other one has 57 MDC taken. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Since it's just the actual armor itself, the armor plating or the ceramic um, plates or the interweave stuff, mm -hmm. that can be repaired no problem. To repair both of those to full, the price would be... Just doing some calculations. No worries. 50,000 credits. Damn. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. Um, yeah. I gotta add one more to that. There's not much, but there is about, uh, hang on, I'm looking now, 17 mega damage to the power armor. 60,000. Oh, alright. Yep. Alright, so 60,000. Um, I have an E-clip that I want recharged. Anyone uh, else? 2,000 credits? For, per E-clip. Yeah. Any E-clips? I, I needed to recharge one, yeah. Okay, so that's two. Anyone else? What about fixing my glove? <laughs> Your glove? 65,000 credits. Okay. That's total, right? I hope uh, so. <laughs> 65,000 credits. Uh, if we're going to add in the E-clip, uh, the two E-clips, then the we're The two E-clips would be 69? Yep, 69,000. Okay. Anything else? I think Patrick needs some juice do? for his ATV. His bike, yeah. Yep. Uh, making even seven th 70,000. Sounds fine with me. Anyone else? It's good. Um, I can't think of anything else. Bones? Okay. Uh, were there any other stores we'd want to... I know there was the House of Healing, there was the Mechanic mm -hmm. Shop. Was there anything else I'm forgetting? Uh, General Store, of course. Barber, shoemaker, blacksmith, saloons, bakery, herb shop, carpenter, tailor. Um, I, I'm going to visit a tailor. Because okay. I need some goddamn clothes that actually fit me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, cool. All right. You're going to head off to the tailor. As far <laughs> as the mechanics go, sim s since there is, well, three of them in general... And uh, you're the only travelers right now that are looking for repairs. They can get everything done for you by tomorrow morning. Sounds good. 
Um, don't forget to um, take off the damage of the power armor squee. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. Is there anything else that you guys want to do, Patrick, Mila? Yeah, not really. I guess Mila uh, would just be following you guys around. A little bit uh, of shopping. One thing. Okay. Yeah. Al would like to go to the general store. Mm-hmm. And buy vegetables. <laughs> yes. Sure. Yes. Sure, they do have <laughs> that. That and the uh, herb shop as well uh, give you a fresh. Uh, what would be in season? It's fall, so there'd be harvest, which means there'd actually be quite a bit. Really? Any no vegetable that really can reasonably be grown in North America, I think it'd be fair to say that you'd be able to acquire. All so right. you got everything. Just a, a plethora. And then, and then as All odd right. as it seems... We'll say 50 credits for a good supply of them. I was going to say, and then almost as, as odd as it seems, with almost a look of defiance, he adds some meat on top. <laughs> like, on top of the list. So, almost like a... No, I'm getting meat. <laughs> okay, I see. I understand. Cool. So then we'll say seventy credits. All right. And you get yeah. some nice uh, pork um, pork flanks. Yay! Great. As for the tailor, Tom, <laughs> um, the tailor himself, he is uh, he is used to more um, adventuring fare, stitching uh, clothes and cloaks and traveling trouser pants and all that good stuff. Uh, is there any particular style that you're looking for, young uh, sir? I almost said young man. <laughs> disc, disc. There is one thing that I've wanted to wear for a while, but I couldn't do it when, well... Mm -hmm. Until now. Okay. Mostly because I didn't have the money. Um, I would like a suit. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, um, oh, no. well, sir, I could make you, I do not have any suits here. Uh, as you understand, not, a many, not very many people around here. We serve mostly trappers and wilderness scouts. They're not typically the ones who wear a suit. However, I am a decent, uh, I'm decent with a needle and thread. I could make you a suit. However, it would take a, a week to finish. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, okay. Well, uh, please, let me take your measurements. Uh, is right. there... And Okay, so what we'll do is uh, he'll take your measurements, and you guys can dis discern a, a fabric that you'd like, uh, mm -hmm. and a color, of course. Um, he mostly... Uh, the, the cloth that he has goes from cotton to wool to a light um, weave as well. Uh, the colors uh, range everything but the really bright, bizarre colors like cyan or red or yellow. But mm -hmm. blacks, grays, browns, tans, dark yeah. blues. Just a nice there. black suit. Nice yeah. black suit. Okay, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, along not a problem. With, along with just some regular adventuring clothes. Okay. okay, all right. Well, the regular adventuring clothes are not a problem whatsoever. Yeah. Um, you know, slacks. You know, loose shirts, that sort of thing. He can mm -hmm. sell you a, a few pairs of those for, I'd say, about 40 credits for uh, two sets of set, uh, uh, clothes that fit your new body just to a T. Um, two sets. I Can we make it 10 sets? Uh, he does not have that much, unfortunately. Uh, he okay. has enough to fit your size. He can give you three, and he can give you two more of a larger size that he can take in. So far. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Okay. So that's what we'll do. So all together then, uh, since you're buying so much and you're getting custom suit from him, he's very happy for the business. When you first engaged with him, he seemed a little hesitant, a little bit weary. Um, but uh, now that you are spending so much money, he has his mood and his uh, attitude has warmed. Uh, so it'll be 200 credits for the five sets of clothes. Mm-hmm. Plus, uh, that's kind of a down payment on the suit. Pay another yeah. 100 credits when you pick it up in a week, and then your tab is clear. Sounds good to me. Okay. Mm, can I also, now that we're thinking about tailors, because I, I, I just realized that Al's still wearing the same clothes. Um, can I just look to see if he has, I'm looking for something kind of specific. If he has it, great. If not, I will. Or He, he gives a thin smile to you, and he says, yes, um, 
sir? I'm just looking at what you have. Um, do you have anything? <laughs> and then Al kind of describes a. Um, what what I have in my head is like a, a green jumper and maybe like a black leather jacket to go over it. Hmm. <laughs> Leather, unfortunately. Um, I do not have a supply of that right now. As for bright greens, that we have a darker green, perhaps. I'm not too sure about oh, a no, jumper. Dark, dark, darker would be better. Mm, I see. I have to admit, sir, I'm not too sure if I'd be able to fit your um, <clears throat> thinner, non-human frame. <laughs> Al, Al, Al kind of blinks for a second. I, I, excuse me? Mm, I'm used to tailoring for people, not DBs, that's all. Right, like, I'm not a tailor, but that just means you make it a little smaller. I'm sure you've made clothes for children before, haven't you? It can't mm, be that yes. different. But children don't tend to be picky and prissy. Oh. <laughs> Al, Al okay. blinks for a second okay. again. And, okay. and then says, but I'm neither of those things. I was just wondering if you could make one. I'm going to take all the clothes that he I just bought, put them right mm -hmm. on, back on the table, and ask for my money back. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, there's no... Refunds, that was a final sale. But I understand the mood I will here light is... my right hand on fire and ask him for my fucking money back. Al, Al will put a hand on Tom's shoulder and say, No, this is not the time nor the place. It's not our job to correct ignorance. All right. And he will um, make the fire go away. Al will pick up the clothes and say, Doesn't mean we can't burn these, though. And start walking away with them. <laughs> Do whatever you want with them. You've paid for them. And forget about your suit. And uh, Al will actually whistle a happy tune as he walks out the door. Okay. And then, <laughs> when they're in the street, Al will look at Tom, kind of cheerful, and say, Wow, I've never experienced it from that side before. Yeah. Al will uh, shake his head and put a hand on Tom's shoulder. Don't, don't, don't feel bad. Don't worry. I chose no, this. I... And the actions and words of a man like that could never hurt me. It you want to burn some clothes? Me. It hurts me. Al will fling a shirt up in the air. Get it. <laughs> no. Tom. I'm going back to the behemoth. Oh. Al just kind of drops the clothes on the street. <laughs> Are you going to okay. bring that food back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing the food back. Because, so like, as hungry. soon as you walked in, like, Mila's eyes would widen and she'd just stare at it. <laughs> uh, Al will toss Mila, like, from the bag of food, like, um, uh, apple. <laughs> she will catch the apple. And look at you and say, Thanks, pointy ears! And then she start eating it. Al will just nod and then go put the food up. Thanks for introducing him as pointy ears, Patrick! <laughs> no problem! <laughs> Don't you want to call him pointy ears? <laughs> Thanks for introducing me as pointy ears, Pat. No. <laughs> Mila's gonna become the biggest racist of the group. <laughs> Uh, of the group, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, of the, the group. World. Of the group. Not yeah, of the no. Of the world. Of the <laughs> okay. World. Uh, anything else you guys like to discuss? I think I might wind things down mm. because mm -hmm. uh, having having uh, James introduce you to Lord Fromalein, I think might kick off a whole new thing that might go into, I mean... It might be short, it might be long. I don't know how you guys are going to react to stuff. I don't know how you're going to handle stuff. I know what the deal is. So I think uh, we might just wind things down here then, if that's cool by you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, any, mm -hmm. any last uh, in-character things you guys would like to do or say or role-play? Give me some time to also think about how 
our dear NPCs would react to the situation and, and start a new session fresh with them engaging with you guys as well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. grab, mm -hmm. grab a little bit more depth to your uh, friends. Uh, nothing that I can think of doing in character. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, then maybe we'll end the session. Um, and we'll just, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, uh, Burn. The only... Th the only thing that I'm going to say is for the rest of the night, and he's probably not going to be there for dinner. He's going. Uh, Tom is going to be locked up in this room. Okay. Oh, I, I think uh, when dinner time came around, she'd be like, "Old, old, it's time for dinner." <laughs> he's not going to respond. Is the door open? I mean, is it unlocked? Yeah, it's unlocked. She's going to walk in. <laughs> It's Mila, guys. It's Mila, it's I true. Love her so much. You're you're just going to see um, Tom underneath his blankets, just curled up in a ball. <gasps> oh no! She kind of like hunch over the bed. Are you sick? No. You're not sick. No. Are you sleepy? No. Maybe you should come eat dinner with us. <laughs> She's like got like this crazy smile on her face, like eh. No. 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 She'll sit down on the floor and look puzzled, <laughs> <laughs> and just like stare at Tom. He he has a very vacant expression, like his eyes are glassed over. And she'll just sit there, I guess, staring at Tom. Mm. For hours, dun, I guess. Dun, dun. Yeah. yeah. For Unless hours. somebody else comes and gets her and Tom. You know <laughs> Bear is going to come in and he's going to get... No, uh, <clears throat> Mila. <gasps> Bear! Hey. Old hey. doesn't want to eat. Hmm. But he's not tired. And he's not sick. So what could be wrong? I'm not sure. Have you asked him? I ch oh, did I? Old, did I ask you if what was wrong? No. Old, what's wrong? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, you need a beer to tell you that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how people treat my friends. I don't like how people treat other people just because they came from another place uh, and I, I I very nearly killed somebody just because they didn't want to make clothes for Al she'll like scooch on her butt over to the edge of the bed and like rest her head in front of him well you you shouldn't let bad people bother you because they're they're bad you should look at the nice people, like Pointy Ears, Alicia, Patrick, Bear, me, I think I'm pretty nice. And your face is right next to um, Tom's, right? Yep. He's going to uh, kiss your forehead and say thank you. Ah, uh, she'll smile. No problem. Are you going to eat now? Yeah, I guess. All uh, right. As, cool. As you depart, uh, Bear will um, say softly, quietly to Tom. He goes, I have words for you if you would like to hear them. Go for it. I know what you speak of. When I first came here, I came across some very... Hmm, aggressive people to my kind because of who I was or where I came from. I have come to learn that they mostly act out of fear. Do you, can you hate something that is simply afraid? No, I guess not. Very well. I just wish that it didn't have to come down to appearance. Hmm. That somebody could just judge you based on who you are. That is admirable. That is the thought of the people of Penshaw. 
which is why I called that home. There are, even though they are gone, that thought is still comforting. I am glad you are one of those people. Yeah, and he'll give just this, yeah, and he'll just give us all a nod back and join you guys for dinner. Uh, oh, I was gonna <laughs> say like Al's been listening the whole time on the other side of the wall, not wanting to disturb. Um, you but, sneaky Pete. Yeah, well, <laughs> because sneaky because Pete. he's worried about Tom, but he's also trying to deal with this himself kind of like he's not taking it as badly but um as they go to the dinner uh, uh al will say if it helps i don't know if it does but um i used to be one of those people and mm. now i'm not which means that there's always hope for everyone true I don't know. I I guess I was sensitive. I'm I'm a bit sensitive to that kind of thing since I had when I was growing up. I had friends that were DBs. There's nothing to apologize for. We all have things that we are. And Al kind of hesitates for a second and says, a bit shakily, sensitive too. Mm -hmm. Uh, you hear coming from the uh, dining room. Party years. Are you gonna eat? Hell shouts back, don't touch it yet. I already did. Mila, oh, God. <laughs> let's go. Come on. <laughs> Lee yells I'm drunkenly. Why are we shouting? Holly. Hi. <laughs> oh no, Mila, not the. I was gonna eat that. Oh, you work for the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, man. Mila's back, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> Freaking <Okay>. Lena inverse. <laughs> I think I'm good to end the session when you guys are. I think that was yeah. great. I, I, I wanted to end it on a happy note. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it's important. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. uh, should I stop recording? Is there anything else anyone yeah. wants to... I'm good. I think we can finish her off. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.